Hey guys, so I've been wanting to make this video for a really long time and this is, you know, the kind of the main audio gear that we use for weddings. I get so many questions on audio because it's really, it's really a tough thing. There's so many audio things. I, I mean, I personally, when we first started out with weddings, struggled with audio a ton. And so what I'm going to do is just give you the exact audio gear to buy. Buy this gear. It's the best audio gear for weddings in my opinion and just be set. Like audio gear is kind of one of those things that you buy it once and you are set. There's not, you know, I mean there are new recorders and new things that come up, but you don't really need them. Just get these foundational things and you'll be good. So the first thing in audio gear, I just dropped all the audio gear, but the first thing is this this guy right here. And this is a Rode VideoMic Pro. This we have used this I mean, for like the past 10, 10 years, five years, I don't even know, this thing's been around forever. And it's a great mic that you put on top of your camera. It's not the mic that you use to film like speeches and it shouldn't be your main audio mic, but it's really great for capturing kind of just ambient audio throughout the day. So that could be the girls talking or, you know, laughing in the morning or the guys just hanging out and talking. And this is a great mic for reference audio. So we have this, mic all the, <laughs> it's really fun, it kind of like jiggles. But we, we have this mic on top of our cameras all day for weddings, for events, for anything we shoot because the internal mics on cameras, pretty much all cameras suck. And so it's pretty much useless to use the internal mic. So you, we always have this on top, just in case we need you know audio that we weren't planning on recording. We always have this on and plugged in. And Rode actually came out. They just announced a brand new version of this. Um, I'm not I'm not sure where it's, when it's coming out, but I'll put the link below to this one. And this would be one of the first pieces of audio gear I would buy as a filmmaker. So the next thing, and this I get tons of questions on this, is you know okay well if you record with the video mic pro how do you get people's vows and speeches and letters and do you use like a pocket recorder or something like that and we do so this is i think one of my favorite pieces of gear and i'll show it to you in a second it is the tascam dr10c i have yet to see an audio recorder that is better than this one this like this has changed our lives. I would just literally go right now to the link and buy this thing. Buy three of them. They are incredible. They, what, the way they work are they're pocket recorders, so they're not wireless. They're, you actually put an SD card into these things, and then you plug in a wireless lav mic. Oh, sorry, not wireless. <laughs> a wired lav mic into the top, and what happens is this serves as a recorder and you're able to record audio directly to this thing. And some of the main reasons I love it is where you plug in your mic, it's a locking connector. And what that means is when you plug in your mic, you don't just plug it in, but once it's plugged in, you actually screw it tight. So you it's impossible to pull the mic out. And Pretty much all other recorders do not have that locking connector. And when you put this recorder, say in a groom's pocket or in an officiant's pocket, and you're, you think you're all good to go, they start talking to other people at the wedding, they're hugging people, they might go to the restroom or something and dislodge the mic, even just barely. And then when you get back to your editing room, there's clicks and pops and the mic is dislodged and your whole audio is just horrible. This mic recorder prevents that entirely. And another reason I love it is it's so tiny, you can it, you can put it inside the groom's suit jacket or in the efficient suit jacket. It comes with this built-in clip on the back here, so like if you need to clip it on a bridesmaid's dress for a speech or anything like that, you can do that. It actually, records two tracks of audio at the same time, this is incredible because what it allows you to do is start the record, start recording on this and while you're recording, it'll record a normal level audio track and then it'll record a second audio track that is 12 dB lower than the normal audio track. So what that allows you to do is say if someone's Say if the groom is has this recorder on him and he's giving his vows, and all of a sudden he screams during his vows or says something really loud. Normally on most audio recorders, that recording would be lost because the audio recording would clip. It would he would scream so loud that it would distort the audio. 
But what this one does is it records a separate track that is 12 dB lower than the normal track. And so if you screamed, you'd actually have a usable recording that you can put into your edit later. So actually what happens is when you put in the SD card from this recorder into your computer, it actually gives you two audio files of every recording, one normal level recording and one 12 dB lower. So love, like I cannot urge you enough, do not waste your time with any other audio recorders. I know people recommend so many other ones, but we have been doing this for 10 years and there is none that compared to this guy. It's a little pricier maybe than some, but so there's actually some incredible deals that I'll link below that actually include this recorder with the lav mic. I mean, you just can't go wrong, get three of these. So you could use one on the bride, one on the officiant, and one on the groom for your weddings and never worry about lav mic audio again. And the, also a really cool thing is the, they take AAA rechargeable batteries and you can basically turn this recorder on and leave it running the entire day and not worry about the battery dying. And the last thing I love about these is I kind of have our setup to where you never have to like check audio because it records those two audio tracks. You can just turn it on kind of and, and press record and you never have to worry about getting the levels just right because you have two tracks of audio. So I never fiddle around with walking up to a groom and an officiant or having them like, okay, count to 10 or checking audio. I can literally just press record and I'm good to go. So please get this recorder. It, it'll be the best thing you ever do. And so these recorders, they actually come with a lav mic, which I've heard samples and it sounds really, really good. So if you're on a budget, just get the recorder and get the and use the lav mic that comes with it. But if you wanted to get a little bit better lav mic, we actually use the Tram TR50 lav mics. I really like these lav mics because they tend to sound warmer than any other lav mic I've heard besides like super, super expensive ones. And I just like when mics sound warmer and they sound less tinny because it just, when I watch films where the mics are a little bit warmer, it just feels more intimate to me. And that's, you know, even when we choose audio, we put story first because, you know, it's it's really preference and our preference is we want our films to feel warm and intimate. And this Tram TR50 mic does that. So that's kind of on the lav mic side. And then what I always recommend filmmakers get is a bigger recorder. Now this is the recorder that you're going to use to plug into like the DJ system. And we use this guy. It, it's, it's a little bit bigger, but it's the Tascam DR70D. And I love this guy because it, it has, let's see. Yeah, I have this piece of tape on here. Let's take that off. But it has four. So here's one, two, three, four. It has four XLR connectors in here. So really for weddings, you'd only use one, but if you shoot short films or if you do like corporate stuff, having four places to plug in an XLR feed into is incredible. But for a wedding, you only need one track. So you would just plug it into the first one here. But I love that it just, it has phantom power. It has, you can adjust each level of each of the individual tracks. It's Probably the biggest reason I love this recorder is it records again, just like that lav mic recorder, the Tascam DR10C, is it records two tracks of audio at the same exact time. And that's really great for speeches or for the ceremony because you never have to go back and kind of check and adjust audio. You can just set it recording and leave it good to go because you know that two tracks of audio are recording. So this is the main recorder that I recommend as kind of like your bigger recorder to use for plugging into the DJ's feed for the ceremony and the speeches. And it's really affordable. Get this guy. It's the only re big recorder you'd really ever need. You could use it for weddings. You could use it for nonprofit stuff, for corporate stuff. It's awesome. And the only downside with that bigger recorder is the battery life is not so good. It's actually pretty poor. It takes AAA or AA batteries and they go through really fast. So what we've done is we just on Amazon, we bought one of these anchor batteries and what it allows you to do is actually plug the recorder into this battery and I can have the recorder powered on all day long and never worry about the battery running out. And this is the anchor core uh, 10,000. So, and this, this battery is really great. It's really tiny and it just lasts all day and you can power your recorder. So those are the main re 
you know, kind of audio tools that we use for the wedding day. And these things will last forever with you. Just get them. You, in my opinion, audio before cameras, before lenses, before stabilizers, before anything else on the wedding day is the most important piece of gear that you could ever invest in. So please pick these up. I have, I put the links below in the description. And also if you guys buy any of these things from the links below, we actually get a little bit of a kickback from say Amazon, b and or Adorama. It really helps the channel, helps us produce more videos just like this. So please subscribe to the channel if you want to see, you know, I'm going to be doing tons more educational content. So please subscribe to get up to date with those. And then if this video really helped you, please like, comment if you have any questions. I'll do my absolute best to respond to them. And if you want to kind of go more in depth with any of these tools or anything else in wedding filmmaking, I actually do one hour one-on-one -on -one Skype mentorship sessions where I walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process to just crush it in wedding filmmaking and answer any questions you may have. So if you're interested in doing that, send us an email at info at forestryfilms.com and we'll get in touch on setting one of those up. And then and lastly, we, we have an ebook that we made and it's, you know, perfect for if you're shooting a wedding in, you know, a day or two days or even a week. It's 10 of the essential things that I think are the most important things to know and be prepared for in terms of shooting a wedding that's coming up. So please click that link above. It'll take you to download that free ebook. And again, it's 10 of the most essential things that I think you need as a wedding filmmaker to crush it at your next wedding. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was really, really helpful for you. And again, check out all the links below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great rest of the day.